This is my office for today. I'm going to be sat at this desk marking some papers for Assemblies of God trainee ministers. And some of the guidance that I've been given on, on my marking criteria is that each student either gets a mark of Excel, pass, or more work needed, which is a more polite way of saying fail. And as I began to think a little bit about these marks, both in reference to the students that have filled the assignments, but also in life in general, I came to this conclusion that really, no matter whether you excel at something, whether you simply pass or scrape through, or whether indeed you actually fail, it's not those things in and of themselves that are the most important thing. It's actually what you do in relation to that. My friend once said this, it's not what happens to you that counts, but it's what you do with what happens to you that counts. And actually our response in life should be the same, whether we are flying high or whether we've been kicked to the ground. It's what we do next that really, really counts. You see, David, King David in the Bible, there were two incidents in his life where one, he did well at this, and another, he did pretty poorly. You see, just after he had killed Goliath and he'd been made king over Israel, he was at the highest of highs, yet his lapse attitude, his failure to keep moving on, led him down a very dark path of adultery and ultimately murder. Yet another instance in his life, just after that, where the prophet is sent to David to challenge him on what he had done in the lowest moment of his life. He doesn't wallow in that sin. He doesn't wallow in that misery. But actually his response is to get on his knees and repent and say, God, please don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Please restore to me the joy of my salvation. And so I want to encourage us with this thought. We are all on a journey. There are seasons in our life where we are excelling. There will be seasons in our life where it just feels like we're plodding through. And there are seasons in our life where we fail. Sometimes we fail miserably. But my encouragement to you is this, is that even though we take those things seriously, actually it's what we do with those mistakes that really, really counts. So whether you feel right now in your life you're excelling, you're passing, or that you failed, what you do next is truly important. God bless you.